Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today we're very excited to be checking out Picture Link from Binary Arts. This is for two to four players, ages four and up. It'll take you about five to ten minutes to play. And in this The Path Making match game, you will be trying to find various different pictures people call out and trying to make a path from one color to another. Is it a good kids game or is it another yeah one? Let's open it up and see how it plays. Alright then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Picture Link. First and foremost, we have our handy dandy rule booklet. It is uh, uh, two pages, double sided, no color. It's a very, very simple game. Uh, it'll have you up and running in no time. You'll probably never need it again. Even though I do want to say they have some game variations in here. Uh, and both of them are actually pretty good, so I definitely recommend checking those out. And they're the kind of variations that you're going to bust out once your kids get older and are starting to get a little bit bored with the game. They definitely can add a little bit of spice to it. Uh, so we're going to take a look at components. First and foremost, you're going to get four of these boards. I'm just going to focus on one so you can see it. And as you can see, it's got tons of different images on it. I want to mention that all the boards are different. So this might be an alarm clock on this one, but on the other one it might be a pear or a heart. Uh, they're all vastly different. So what are you going to be trying to do in this game is you're going to be trying to get from one color to the other. So you're going to be trying to get from purple to purple by using these little green things. So essentially you're going to want to have a straight line. Well, it doesn't have to be straight. It can be all zigzag and crazy. But you're going to want to have a line going from one color to another as long as they're the same color. And if you're the first person to get that, then you'll be the winner of the game. Now, how is the game played? Oh, I forgot to mention. The other thing you're going to get in this game are these nice little plastic... Uh, things that are kind of like bingo chips but they got finger grips on them they are very very nice and sturdy they won't break on you which is great in a kids game but anyway how does the game play first you're going to decide who goes first and what you're going to do is the first person is going to call out an image so for instance they might start with uh, we'll say kitty so they go up there and they would put that on their kitty now what everyone else is going to be doing is they're going to be looking at their board and also looking for the kitty so let's just say oh the kitty is right there so this guy has a kitty here this kid has a kitty here and we would move on we're just gonna pretend that we got a two-player game so now this guy has taken his turn and now this one's gonna take his turn so he's gonna say you know what I'm gonna try and go from red to red so what he's gonna do is I'm gonna go with the butterfly so he would put his thing on the butterfly and then the other player would look all around their board and try and find the butterfly as well and they would put on a butterfly so let's see if we can find the butterfly oh it's right there it doesn't particularly help us but it might in the long run who knows so next this person is gonna go and they'll say alright I'm gonna put it on the house and they're going to put it on a house and likewise this guy is going to look and he's gonna put it on the house and the house is completely useless to him but as you can see you're going to continue going back and forth and placing all the cubes on or uh, all the tokens on there that people put based on what the pictures are until someone is able to successfully get from one side of the board to the other like this and then so I got red and then we got all the way over here and then once you get from one color to the other that are the same you will be the winner of picture link and that in a nutshell is how picture link is played Alrighty then, picture link from binary arts what are my final thoughts let's go over the pros let's go over the cons first on the con side the game's not for everybody because well it's for ages four and up I mean there you go you bring this to game night you're gonna get laughed at and possibly not invited back if you really push the issue uh, also the artwork is okay I mean it's cute it's funzy but it does look just a tiny bit amateurish it kind of looks maybe clip artish uh, I didn't dislike the artwork but I think it could have been a little bit better also the components well, they're nice. They're not that nice. They, they warp. I mean, all of our boards are warped. It doesn't impact gameplay, really, but it's just something that you'd like to see them be flat. And I don't know why they're not. Um, those are the only real cons I have for the game, because if you watch the gameplay video, you know what you're getting out of picture link. Moving on to the pros. The, the million dollar question. Is it a good kids game? Yes. This is a good one. This is a My Classroom approved kind of game, because I bring a lot of games into my classroom that I get at Goodwill. And this is one that I got at Goodwill for like 50 cents, and a lot of them just fall completely flat on their face. This one did not. I get I get people, I get kids asking for this game again and again. They like it a lot. Why? Well, first and foremost, it's incredibly simple. I mean, yes, you can have strategy in this game, but you can also completely not have strategy and just be a wild card. Um, 
Well, with kids, normally that's just because they don't know how to play. But anywho, you can play the game without knowing how to play, which is fantastic when you're dealing with very young kids like I do. I have a, a classroom full of three to five-year-olds, and, you know, I can play with the three-year-olds. They rarely ever win, but they still have fun playing. They like matching up, they like the pictures, they like the, the green little things that you pop in there. Uh, but one thing that I really do like about this game is you can watch a kid develop and finally realize how to play the game. Because they'll start off just going every which way, and then after four or five times just getting smashed into the dirt over and over by other kids and their teacher, um, they finally say, oh, you know what, maybe I should go in a straight line from point A to point B. And, you know, it's, it's cool to see them develop that, that comprehension and thinking skill. I also think this is really good for getting kids to communicate and, you know, matching things up together. Because a lot, you know, like even in a matching game, when you play a matching game, you don't have to know what you're flipping over. You know, okay, I flip over this and this, they're the same, good. Well, you don't know what that, they, it's a fish. Just, you know, this game kind of forces you to say what it is. Oh, this is a lion, this is a fish, this is a baby, this is a monkey. And, and I really think that's good for kids, especially if they're not on the talkative side. Overall, Picture Link from Binary Arts, definitely giving this one a recommendation. If you can find it, uh, I think you'll probably be able to find it for cheap. I've never seen it before, but I saw it at Goodwill, picked it up. And if you can too, I definitely don't think you're going to regret it. It is a good kids game, uh, but I stress kids game. This is not one you're ever going to play once they get older. Uh, well, what I want to know in the comments below, what kid games are you into? What's your favorite kids game and what, what age range is that for? Because I'm always on the lookout for great kids games. Uh, if you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. That was the review for Picture League. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. What does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner?